Today guys, we are doing a PS5 dashboard walkthrough, pretty much just showing you guys the dashboard of the brand new PS5. If you guys were lucky enough to get one, be sure to comment down below and let me know if you guys like it more than the PS4. Obviously, I love it and I think it's pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get it started. Starting off, this is the home screen for your PlayStation 5. You guys can see we got the PlayStation Store right here. One thing I love is if you go ahead and click the PlayStation Store, this is the PlayStation Store. It's right here. It doesn't take so long to load. You can quickly just search any game you want, and it's just super fast. You don't actually have to load into anything like the PS4 did, so I personally love the PS, uh, PS5 PlayStation Store. Then, of course, you got the games. I'm currently downloading GTA 5 right now. It's at 66%. It's pretty quick to download. I'm going to be doing a download test very soon as well to see exactly how much faster the PS5 is at downloading things compared to the PS4. And then right here, I have an unreadable disc. For some reason, you can't actually play the disc copy of GTA 5 from PS4 on PS5. It's literally a brand new disc and it just does not work. So I'm not too sure why that is. Maybe it's not backwards compatible, not 100% sure. So I literally just bought the game and downloaded it instead. And then when we head over here, we got Astro's Playroom. Honestly, I'm probably not gonna play this. I've played it on VR. It's kind of fun. Honestly, it's it's okay. PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Now, Media Gallery, Share Factory, Remote Play. This one I think is really, really cool. You can use the PS5 to connect to another PS5 or PS4. For me, I have a PS4 connected to the TV behind me, which I play on when I'm just relaxing. So now I could just remote play from this PS5 onto my PS4 Slim, which is gonna be pretty awesome because then I don't have to get a second PS5 even though I did get one. So this is your home screen. Now, if you guys wanted to get to another screen, you can click the PlayStation button and then you guys will be on this screen right here. So obviously you got your home screen, which is what we were just on. And then if you go over here, you can quickly switch between games. Right now, I don't have any games open, but if you guys do have recent games open, you can instantly launch them and have multiple games open at once, which I think is really, really cool. And then after this, we have our notification screen right here. So it's literally just all of the notifications you get. This is mine, just a bunch of high, 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 and all that kind of stuff. Let me know if you guys wanna see a video on me going through all of my messages. And of course you can turn on and off do not disturb. Honestly, I'ma keep do not disturb on probably when I'm making videos. And then you got the game base right here. So you could see all the recent parties that are open and stuff like that. And you can also create a party if you wanted to. If you go over here, you can add people. And I'm kind of glad they added the group thing because it's honestly one of the best things ever. And then you guys can just add a group, make a group up, and then boom, then you guys can play with your friends on PS4 or whichever console you guys are on. So that's how you start a party and stuff like that. So let's back out of this screen. Yes, I want to cancel and then click the PlayStation button again, and we're back to this screen. Then we got our music right here if you guys like to listen to music. Downloads and uploads are right here. So you guys can see we got our data transfer, and if you wanna to go to the actual download screen, you just click on it. Data transfer from our PS4, which is gonna take a long time, 181 gigabytes. It's literally just downloading like half of the games I had on my PS4 onto the PS5. Pretty shocking, it only takes 181 gigabytes, including Call of Duty. And then of course, GTA is right here, shows your error screens, uploads, things like that. Now let's go back and keep taking a look here. So we got our sound settings right here. If you guys wanted to honestly change any sound settings, it's pretty simple to change. Over here, we got our microphone, wireless controller. If you have it plugged in there, you can mute your mic really easily just by clicking that and adjust the mic level by going right here. Right here is the accessories tab, and you can see exactly what accessories you have, being your headset or how many controllers you have, and you could turn it off, turn it on, you can go to your controller settings as well, and you could change everything for the brightness and stuff like that, and I think it's pretty cool. I do like the new controller. The toggles feel really, really nice, and I think it's pretty cool. And then of course you get your media remote, and you can also use a mouse and keyboard if you wanted to do that and completely slap in any game. And then finally over here, we have our profiles, which you could just pretty much just see your profile, how you would normally look. And then you could just go to switch user, trophies, profile, and stuff like that. And then lastly over here, we have our regular just power settings, turn it off, rest mode, and restart. Honestly, I love the PS5. It's, it's really cool. And then if you guys wanted to, you can also customize it, which I think is really awesome. So you can add some things that you wanna see here and some things you don't. So you can already see what's been added and what hasn't. If I wanted to add anything else, I can. I could have my network settings right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And if you wanted to add like your broadcast settings, if you like to stream off of your PlayStation, you can add that to that main home screen as well. And then you can already see what is added as well. So I think I'm gonna add the broadcast thing and then you can click circle and boom, there you guys go. Now you got your network here and your broadcast as well. It's really awesome because of the ease of access and the accessibility to be able to just go to that really, really quickly. 
And then over here we got our media as well. If you guys did want to download like Disney Plus or Netflix or any of these apps, they're all on here. I didn't download any of them because it's honestly, I have a Roku and I don't usually use any of these apps on my PlayStation. And then you go over here to the top, you can go ahead and just search for anything, any games, movies, stuff like that, and then just easily launch it really quickly. And then finally, last but not least over here, we have our settings. If you guys have an Elgato, make sure that you turn off HDCP in order to actually connect your PlayStation to your Elgato or it will not work. Another thing, I have a 1080p smart TV and for some reason it does not want to connect to my PlayStation it only does not connect through the Elgato, which doesn't really make too much sense. It connects straight from my PlayStation, but for some reason it does not connect through my Elgato. Not too sure why that happens, but yeah, you got all of your settings that you need to have right there. And then of course your profile is also up here in the corner. And that's pretty much it. That's the entire dashboard of the brand new PlayStation 5. Obviously your games and stuff would be shown right here, or if you really wanted to, you can have the switcher right here. And then that is pretty much it. That's the whole PlayStation 5 dashboard. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got lucky enough to get one, be sure to comment it down below. What do you think looks nicer, the PlayStation dashboard or the Xbox dashboard for the next generation of consoles? Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.